Well, good Monday morning to you folks. <laughs> it just seems like it keeps running right along. Here we are again on Monday. And uh, I pray that uh, you had a good time yesterday in church. You had a good service. That God blessed you if you were able to go. If not, maybe you watched ours or, or another one. But um, whatever, I pray that God blessed you yesterday. And I pray that you were in for a special blessing again today as well. Let me find here in the book of Luke in chapter 8. The book of Luke in chapter 8. And let's see here about verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went out into a ship and with his disciples and said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side. Let us go over into the other side of the lake, and they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water, and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind, and the raging of the water. And they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they said, being, and they being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the wind and the water, and they obey him. Well, not only did he command the winds and the water, but within the next verse, as they passed over into the country of the Gadareans, he uh, comes face to face with uh, demons, and he um, tells them to come out of the man that they have possessed. I I thought um, yesterday morning our Sunday our adult Sunday school teacher was teaching uh, from the book of Romans, and and we discussed a little bit about. Uh, Jesus and why he came and uh, his sacrifice for our sin and why he had to come why the blood of bulls and goats and animals could no longer do it and why he had to come and he had to come because he was flesh just as we are and so he came flesh just as we are to redeem us to be a near kinsman to us to redeem us and in that uh, he not only had the power over the wind and the waves, he had the power over uh, demon spirits, and he knew how it felt then to, to be uh, in this flesh and the temptations that would come and the thoughts that men would have. You know, um, if you notice, he goes down, um, uh, he's asleep in the ship. And they say to him, uh, Master, Master. <laughs> and he wakes up and he calms the sea, uh, the wind and the waves. And then he says to them, where is your faith? Uh, I don't know that it was a chastisement, but I think maybe he was just asking them, where, where is your faith? If you say you have faith in me and to put your faith in him. If you say you have faith in Jesus Christ today, and every time something comes up, small or big, in your life, you're hysterically thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do about this, then maybe you need to ask God to increase your faith. It is easier to handle the pressures of life the troubles of life, the problems of life, when we come at them saying there is nothing that comes at us that God does not already see, he does not already know, and he will not take care of. When Jesus said to them, let us go into the other side of the lake, you've probably heard many preachers say it, many people have said it. He didn't say let us go out into a third of it. He didn't say, let us go out into the middle of the lake and the storm's going to come and we're all going to drown. 
He said, let us go into the other side of the lake. And he wasn't worried about it. He fell asleep. But the trouble came, and they were concerned about it. And they were afraid that no doubt they would die. He spoke to the wind, he spoke to the sea, and it obeyed him. He can speak to the wind, he can speak to the waves in your life, and they will obey him. You are in his hands today. Whatever it is, I would say, allow him to take care of the situation. When we moved to Myrtle Beach, I got there on a Tuesday. On a Wednesday evening, I was sitting in the First Free Will Baptist Church of Myrtle Beach, uh, 67th Avenue North there. Wayne Snipes is the pastor. And as I sat there and listened to the service, I just thought to myself, you know, people are people no matter where they are, no matter where you live. People need help. People have problems. People have troubles. Over a little bit of time being in that church, not long being there, uh, met uh, all the folks that were dear to us that we met, and some we still know. Some have had moved on. We didn't get to know them long, but some uh, we still know, and some have since passed on. There was a man and his wife that uh, uh, we ended up. Um, growing to love them. <laughs> I can still remember uh, the times where she would come and talk and then he would follow right after. And uh, always with some funny little statement he would say. Um, but but we loved them dearly. And I, I they had a, a, a Christian magazine and... Um, and I was blessed to be able to write for that psalm. And I remember he came to me once during the service. Um, he said, you're going to sing tonight? I said, well, I don't know. I don't know, you know, what they have planned. Or, he said, well, if you do, do you know the song, The Master of the Wind? I know The Master of the Wind. And I said, yes, I actually uh, do know that. Our daughter sang it whenever she was a, a young girl. And he said, well, can you sing it for me? And I did. And continued to sing it for him on different occasions. We left there, began to pastor a church, and um, he became very ill. And I remember going to uh, the facility where he was and and uh, singing uh, that song for him. Once I was there and sang it for him, and he couldn't really communicate well. I said, uh, is there something else you would like to hear? And he made sure I knew he wanted me to sing that one again. And so uh, when they had his uh, memorial service, uh, we were blessed uh, to be able to go uh, to Myrtle Beach and be there for it and, uh, and sing this song. The Lord knows what we're going through. He knows what we need and he will take care of us, no doubt. My boat of life sails on the troubled sea. Ever there's a wind in my sail. I have a friend who watches over me when the breeze turns into a gale. I know master of the wind I know the maker of the rain He can calm the storm make the sun rise again I know the master of the wind Sometimes I Soar like an eagle to the sky Among the peaks my soul can be found 
But an unexpected storm may drive me from the pine. It may bring me low, but it cannot bring me down. I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm, make the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. Calm the storm, make the sunshine again. He is the master of the wind. Let Jesus calm your storm, make the sunshine again. He is the master of the wind. I sing that today in memory and uh, in honor of David Goins and Joya Goins. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to uh, speak your word today, to look into your word. God, I pray that you would bless us to continue in the faith, to continue with faith. And God, I pray that you would grant us great faith, that we would put our hope and our confidence in the master of the storm. Not just to say it, but to believe it today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you folks, and we'll see you Tuesday.